What does it mean, the cross? Is there any more ubiquitous symbol in all of human culture? It is the sign of our faith. It is the symbol of Christ's victory over death for all people. And yet, it is so familiar, we hardly notice it. It is used, abused, appropriated. It is with us so much that it can be easy to forget just how much hope is bound up in the cross. There are countless crosses that are meant to be seen, meant to draw our attention, even inspire our admiration. But then there are the crosses in forgotten places, the ones we might pass by in a flash. What do they mean? Who put them there? They mark places of loss and grief. They mark places of sorrow and sadness. Most of them are unseen, unnoticed by the hundreds of thousands of millions of people who pass by. But they are not just there as markers. They do not merely consecrate a point on the earth where something ended. They make a confident plea. They make a bold claim. They say that even here, even in the moment that they memorialize, even then, Jesus was present. Even in these losses, even in these sorrows, Christ was there. The cross goes where the deep pain is. That is the message of the cross. Yes, it is a sign of victory. Victory even over this. But the cross is more than that. It is assurance. Assurance that the love of God, the mercy of God, the forgiveness of God chases after us no matter where we go or what we do, even into the hour of our death. It does not matter if it is abused. It does not matter if it is turned into a piece of jewelry or worn without thought. These are the beautiful crosses. These are the crosses that remind us of the true message of the cross, the reason for the cross. It is to leave us in no doubt that God's love has gone before us and comes after us, enters completely into these frail lives we are given, and that it will remain with us always, not because of our deserving, but because of God's love for us despite everything, even through the grave and gate of death.